it's Brent McMahon. Just gonna give you a little rundown of a day in the life where I do a swim, bike, and a run. Uh, it was a big day, so got lots of training in. So I started uh, today off with my usual morning ritual of uh, eight hours sleep uh, and a coffee. Uh, then I got breakfast and uh, headed out for uh, a building base run. Um, that was the first workout of the day, so I had to prepare for that. Um, got my fuel belt ready, make sure I had enough hydration and nutrition with me for that. Um, did two loops of my uh, favorite lake, Elk Lake, 10K around, and I built through that as I went. Started off with 10 minutes easy, 30 minutes at just a comfortable base pace, which is about four minute K pace then built it for the next uh, 6K at uh, about 3.45K pace, and then the last 4K was about 3.30, 3.35K pace. So good solid effort, a little bit at Ironman pace, a little bit faster than Ironman pace, and uh, just a good strong effort over about an hour and 25 minutes. Then after that, uh, went home, got, uh, got some rest in, got cleaned up, got something to eat. We already, we already did that part. And then I had a bike workout still to do and a, a short swim at the lake. So got all my bottles organized. Um, it's important to when you're doing you know, a big day like this where you've got three workouts all to do is that you stay hydrated and you stay fueled. So I like to eat real food uh, when I can in between workouts. So um, doing the run workout in the morning um, means that you know after that I can actually eat uh, some real food. You know whether that's a sandwich or some pasta um, or some eggs. Um, I can eat that before I head out on the bike ride. So stomach's a little bit easier to handle when you're on the bike. Headed out on the bike and uh, yeah, for me it was just a two-hour ride. Uh, just to work some of the the effort from the run in the morning out of the legs So just kind of went uh, one of my normal routes uh, where I ride around the waterfront uh, of Victoria, so it's a pretty beautiful ride and uh, you know, it's just nice to You know see the scenery sometimes when you're not doing a really specific workout. So hit two hours on the bike legs felt crappy at the beginning, but uh, by the end things started to feel a bit better and you know, that's why you do it you uh, do the hard work and then you got to work it out. So I finished the ride at Thetis Lake where I was going to do my lake swim. So um, my partner Carolyn was there uh, with the truck and all the gear and uh, threw the bike in the back and then headed up to the lake to go for a swim. You know, after, after a, a run and a bike, uh, you know, everything's already a little bit tired, uh, your legs obviously, but even, even your arms are a little tired. Um, when you're riding a time trial bike, you know, your shoulders get a little bit tight. So um, starting off a, a swim, you know, after a bike and a run, um, you just got to remember that things aren't going to feel great. I just start off easy, you know, uh, put on the wetsuit, stay warm, uh, get a little bit of buoyancy there and um, just not worry about trying to feel good right away. At Thetis Lake, we have uh, two islands to swim around, uh, right in the main lake. So there's the small island and the big island, uh, and we typically do loops around that. So the small island's about 900 meters around, and then the big island's about 1,400 meters. So uh, today I just did a big island and a small island. Um, I extended it a little bit, so I ended up doing basically a 1,500 meter loop and then a 1,000 meter loop. And, the first loop I just, you know, focused on form and being relaxed. My legs were tired, my shoulders were a bit tight from the time trial bike. So, you know, it took me kind of at least a thousand meters to start feeling kind of loose and good. But uh, once I got rolling, you know, the energy kind of picked up and had a good swim. And, you know, as you can see, it's a beautiful place to swim. Um, so once you get out there, you know, it's just, it's easy to relax and enjoy, you know, your job and, 
Uh, then I did a small lap where I picked up the pace a little bit, put a little bit of effort into it, and um, yeah, that was the day. You know, run in the morning, ride and swim in the afternoon. So I was home for, for a big meal and uh, get the calories in because obviously there's a whole nother week ahead. For more on how I do things on my road to Ironman, check out my Instagram and Facebook.